everyone, welcome to Chrissy Love. I'm Chrissy and I'm so glad you're here. This is my perfume review channel. And I am so excited because today I am reviewing a house that is new to me. It is a luxury contemporary brand called Wilhelm Parfumery in New York. And it was started in 2015. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sample size perfumes to try out today. And their bottles retail for like $125 or $150 for a 50 ml bottle. So not even a full 100 ml, 50 ml bottle. And so these are really expensive and I'm just so excited to get my nose on these luxury contemporary perfumes. And this is a first sniff for me. So we're gonna do this together. I'm going to start with one called Moon Carnival. And this is what the boxes look like for the samples. Now this has top notes of passion fruit, pink freesia, and bergamot. Middle notes of tuberose, gardenia, and orchid. And base notes of marshmallow, tonka bean, and vanilla. So those base notes are speaking to me. Ooh. I am getting all freesia right now. That is extremely floral very creamy and buttery but i'm not getting any of that sweetness or that tonka so yeah just here smelling it right out of the sprayer i am getting definitely tuberose definitely gardenia definitely freesia lots of florals blended in there and i'm really seeking out the sweetness the sweetness here i'm thinking maybe there's some vanilla i'm getting so I'm getting florals and a tad bit of sweetness right here. So not what I was thinking. I thought there'd be more passion fruit and more citrus in the opening, but there's really not. That's weird. Okay, well, I'll, I'm gonna try on my skin and maybe that'll bring out some more sweetness, but so far that's not exactly a winner. Now this one probably will be better. This is Mango Skin. And top notes are mango, violet, and orange. Middle notes are frangipani, mango blossom, and ylang ylang. And base notes are black currant, red wine, musk, and civet. And so I'm gonna spray this in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is fresh mango. This is super juicy. Mm, a little bit of floral underneath, not a lot of floral. I actually smell that red wine. So there's like a slight red wine, uh, like mulled wine kind of feeling that kind of rounds it out. But it's very sweet. It's very fresh mango, very realistic. I'm getting that orange in there, really brightening it up, giving it lots of levity. Not super floral, which I like. So I think this is going to be a really fun, kind of tropical inspired, uh, like paradise vacation kind of scent. Mm, yes. The musk is coming out a little bit. This is developing in all the right ways in real time right here. Gorgeous. Yes, mango skin is absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Is it full bottle worthy? Time will tell because it's really expensive. <laughs> this next one is Opus Core or Opus Core. Top notes of acai berry and Sicilian lemon. Middle notes of raspberry bloom violet leaves and magnolia and base notes of musk amber and sandalwood mm. this is really heavy on the florals again for me i'm definitely getting magnolia magnolia has such a distinct scent I, it definitely is a magnolia and i'm getting that musk but i'm not really getting amber or anything super berry like or sweetness I, I'm seeking out that citrus and I'm just not getting it. Yeah, the lemon is in there, but it's not really taking the stage here. The magnolia is really taking over the scent. It's very floral. So it, it's starting to make me think that if there's a floral in their perfumes, it really takes over and that they use a very high quality concentration of floral extracts is what I'm getting from that. It's, it's strong. Yeah, I'm just getting florals and musk. I'm not really getting any of the berry at all and maybe a tad bit of citrus. Yeah, so this one is, is a freshie, I would say. A, a floral freshie, very walk in the garden. 
So the next one I have here is called Fleur Burlesque. So I'm sure this is going to be another crazy high impact floral one. Top notes of gardenia and jasmine, mid note of sandalwood, and base note of amber. Please give me some sweetness, please. Mm -mm. Ah! Ah! This smells like my grandmother. Like my grandmother used to wear very floral perfumes. It smells so old fashioned, like 1950s old fashioned. Yeah, that gardenia and jasmine is everything in this. I'm not getting amber or sandalwood or anything woody. It is just outward floral in like a very vintage way. But you know what? Some might really like that. So nothing wrong with it. It's not my kind of thing, but that's not going to do it for me. Next we have Do Not Disturb. And this is what the box looks like. And this is... Carnation, Ylang Ylang, Papyrus, Black Currant, and Haitian Vetiver. So let's spray this. Ooh, that's kind of fun. This reminds me of like a roll on I got at some head shop once that was like Egyptian goddess. <laughs> so you definitely get the Ylang Ylang. I think the Papyrus is giving it kind of like a dusty feeling. That's actually kind of cool. And the black currant is adding some sweetness. So there's carnation in it, but I'm, it's not super carnation heavy. It's more like the floral is definitely the Ylang Ylang coming through. Yeah, it's like a dusty, slightly sweet floral, which is fascinating. Yeah, that black currant keeps coming out. It's developing and give it a little burst of freshness, like a juiciness to it. Ooh, that's really interesting. It's actually rather complex and it smells really sophisticated. I feel like this would develop really nicely on your skin as well. So this is one I'm super excited to give more of a try to. So this is Do Not Disturb. Awesome. The next one I have here is called Room Service. And top notes are blackberry and mandarin orange. Middle notes are orchid, violet, and bamboo. And base notes are musk, black amber, and sandalwood. There's a really weird note in there. I think it's the black amber. I don't know what black amber is supposed to smell like, but it's not the same as regular amber. I'm definitely getting some blackberry, but it's not pulling out enough. This smells extremely musky, but like a desert musk, like kind of dusty and old and like vintagey. The florals are definitely in there. Yeah, all I'm really getting is like violet and musk and whatever that black amber is, I think it's creating this like, this desert, <laughs> desert is one thing that comes to mind. Like it does, it's just so dusty and like old smelling, like an old, cellar or something. Mm, the blackberry is coming out a little bit more. Okay, this might be one that develops really differently on the skin because this is a really hard one to pin down. I don't know what the room service reference is supposed to mean though. Like hotel kind of a smell? Yeah, I'm getting like blackberry and musk now as it's drying in this box. Not a bad thing. Not bad. But not super alluring either. It definitely has this like old vintagey smell to it. So this is gonna take some time for me to look into more. So that is room service. Next one I have here is Poets of Berlin with top notes of blueberry and lemon, mid notes of bamboo and orris, and base notes of vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. <laughs> what? It smells like chocolate. <laughs> That's so weird. There's no chocolate in this in the notes. I think I'm just really smelling sandalwood. I think that initially it smelled like dark chocolate to me, but I think it's like this dusty, woody sandalwood. So the sandalwood is definitely the most prominent scent I'm getting right immediately. I'm not getting the blueberry or the lemon. I'm not getting any citrus or sweetness or freshness. It's not sweet. 
it's almost nutty. It's like I'm getting woods and a nuttiness underneath. But that vanilla is not really holding its own. It's not really bringing any sweetness. Yeah, that's a really odd one. I'm just getting sandalwood and, and nut. So it, it's actually rather like an incense type scent. Like it smells like very calming and natural. So I'm going to give this one more wear test because this might actually be a really pretty one as it develops on the skin. Interesting. Okay, so that's Poets of Berlin. And then finally, I have 125th and Bloom. And the top notes are Angelica Seeds and Saffron. Middle notes are Violet and Damascina Rose. And base is Ebony Woods and Wild Leathers, which does not sound like something I would like. No, it's not. It is like a floral, musky, woody mess. No, this is a cologne, guys. It says Eau de Parfum, but man, this is very masculine, extremely dusty wood. And definitely the leather. It is a realistic, like I'm sitting in a leather chair, leather. I'm not really getting any florals. It's really the woods and the leather taking over here. Mm. No, not my kind of thing. Okay, so that's 125th and blue. <laughs> All right, well, that was super fun. I have a few I really want to get in my skin, and a few I do not want to put anywhere near my skin, but I have a lot of respect for this house already. It's clear they have really high quality ingredients, and I think they're going to be super strong. I can just tell that they're the kind of scents that linger on you. So beware. I would not say that any of these besides maybe mango skin are really blind buy worthy. Um, they're not super safe. I think they're going to develop on skin quite a bit. So we'll see. And yeah, I'll let you know how it goes from here, which I actually end up potentially buying a bottle of. Of course, I'll tell you about that. Uh, let me know if you've tried this house because I'd really love to know if you think there are other perfumes of theirs that are worth trying. And that is Wilhelm Parfumery, New York. So yeah, thanks for being here with me for this journey, this adventure today. And I hope you have a very beautiful day.